As you probably know, the Nikon Z9 and the Sony A1 are two of the best mirrorless cameras for video at the beginning of 2022. Both can shoot at 4K up to 120 frames per second and even at 8K up to 30 frames per second with unlimited recording. However, one question that comes to mind with both cameras having stacked CMOS sensor is how good or bad that rolling shutter effect is at 8K in both of these cameras. Rolling shutter is basically that distortion that occurs when the camera pans rapidly either to the left or to the right. For example, if you're shooting a fast moving subject, you're gonna notice how the lines in the frame become all wobbly and slanted, giving you an impression that everything is skewed either to the left or to the right. And it can get even worse if, for example, you're filming an airplane or a fan with the blades or the propellers going extremely fast. It can look really ugly. So in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the rolling shutter effect of the Nikon Z9, which has a very fast sensor readout speed of 14.3 milliseconds at 8K, which basically means how fast the sensor can process the image that you present to it, versus that of the Sony A1, which is extremely fast as well. So I'm gonna be showing you a couple of examples trying to replicate the rolling shutter effect of the new Nikon Z9 versus that to the Sony A1. And I'm gonna be using as a baseline one of my cameras that has a very bad rolling shutter effect, my Sony ZV-E10. So you can actually differentiate between a camera that has poor sensor readout versus a camera that is top of the line. The first example I'm gonna be showing you here is a panning movement, where basically I'm gonna to try to exaggerate the rolling shutter effect. This example has no practical meaning because you're never gonna be moving a camera like that, but it's a good way to show this effect. So let's check it out. Second example is gonna be of a guitar string, which the wave as they move and the vibrations are so fast that typically a sensor in a camera cannot match its speed, giving you this wobbly effect. And lastly, I'm gonna be showing you the most challenging scenario, which is filming the blades of a fast moving fan, which basically almost every camera except cameras with a global shutter is going to struggle with this test. So let's check it out. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click that like button if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more cameras filmmaking and drone videos. See you in the next one.